Image AI for Elementor is now here and I'm super excited to show you how this feature is going to enhance your web design process. Now let me show you how to get started. So I'm going to come over here and click on this plus button and choose my layout. I'm going to go with Flexbox but it doesn't really matter what layout you go with. So what I'm going to do next is show you how to access this feature. So I want to go to this plus button here and add our widget which is our image. So when we add our image in here, instead of going in here to choose our image, we have this little icon here which says create with AI. I'm going to click on that. Now you notice that we have this brand new prompt. This is where we can type in pretty much anything that we want and the image is going to be generated. So let's go ahead and uh, give this a prompt. So let's say London Bridge during sunset. So I'm going to go ahead and come over here to image type. So I'm going to go with photographic, but there are also other options. So we can go with background, digital art, handmade and 3D. So I'm going to leave it here as photographic. Next, we also have our style. So we have landscape, macro, portrait and long exposure. I want to go with landscape. And finally, we have the aspect ratio. So the one I'm going to go with is 16 by 9 and then click on generate images. Now guys, this is super amazing. You can see here that this prompt has given us these beautiful images. Now if I click here on use image, in fact before I even use the image, what I'm going to do is to click on edit. So I can show you even more features within this image AI for Elementor. So with this now, I can expand the image. So in fact, let's just give this a moment. I can expand the image. So with this now, I can actually zoom in like that or I can zoom out. But of course, I prefer to just leave it as it is because the 16 by 9 aspect ratio is pretty much perfect for me. But if you're using a different aspect ratio, you can actually zoom in so that it fits in whatever aspect ratio that you've chosen. All right, so with that, I can also come over here and enhance the prompt. Now look at this. If I click on that, so what the AI has done here is given a much better description of what I need to see here. So I'm going to click on generate and let's take a look and see what the AI has generated for us. So with this, it's going to include some boats and ferries uh, on the water and overall mood should be uh, serene and peaceful. The more you give it a description, the more accurate your image is going to be. So let's say this is the image that I want to use. I'm going to click on use image and now my image has been added. Now here's the thing. When I come over here, let's say I delete this image and let's say I want to add you know, the image again. This image is going to be saved in my media library, meaning that these images are relatively free. I can use them at any time and they are going to be saved in my media library as soon as I save it using the AI. This is fantastic. One of the challenges that I was having was to pay for these uh, image libraries like iStock Photo and this can be very, very expensive. So having my images this way is brilliant. Okay, so let's say that's my image. I'm going to select it. Now, at any point, I can also go back into this image here and edit it further. So let's say create with AI. Now I'm back with my image here. I can also uh, go to generative fill. Now this is a pretty cool uh, feature. So let me just show you what I can do with this. So let's say I paint this area here like that. I can now come over here and describe what I need to add in the marked area. So let's say uh, a boat. I'm going to say add a boat and let's see what happens here. Look at that. So our boat here has been added. Of course, it's not very accurate and this is also in beta, but as time goes on, I think this is going to be super, super amazing. So here's my boat. I can see the shadows in here. It looks quite accurate, but of course, uh, the type of boat is not what I was expecting. So what I can also do here is to enhance the prompt. But of course, you want to test this a few times. And once you are happy with all the variations of the images that you need, you can now add it. All right, so let's move on to the next feature. And this is the feature that I really like. When you come over here to resize, by default, it's on 512. So what this means is the picture quality here is going to be a bit low. So if you want to increase the picture quality, you want to increase this until you get to the maximum, of course, of 1024. But if you want to, you know, a, a bit lower, it's 896, you can just do that and then click on generate. And this is going to increase the quality of your image. And then over here, we also have variations. So what the variations does is you can give this some uh, prompts and it gives you ideas of different variations of the image that you have chosen here. So what we're doing here is we're creating uh, new variations of the original image. 
So I'm going to increase my reference image here. Now on the bottom here, there's image type. When I click here, I'm going to go with photographic, the style, landscape, and 16 by 9. Now this is where you can go in and add a prompt. So this is environment, sea view, living room, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just going to say generate. I'm just going to use what I have by default, but this is where you can add uh, different prompts so that you can get the different variations. Now when we take a look here, we see that uh, of course the variation is working because the background here is different, the boat is different. So this is where you get to choose whatever image you want based on the image, that, the original image that you have added on. So this is pretty cool. Let's go back over here. So let me show you another area that you can get the um, image AI. So if I click here on add new container, again, I'm going to go into my flex box and then I'm going to click here on this container. So this time we want to add an image in the background. So I'm going to come over here to style, click on classic. And now you notice that we have the AI icon here. I'm going to click on that. And now this is also going to bring my prompt just like before. And this is where I can get uh, to type whatever prompt I need to bring up my image. So for this example, I want to see what the AI can bring up when I put in something like the Victoria Falls in Zimbabwe. So I'm just going to type here Victoria Falls photographic and let's make it 16 by 9 as well and generate images. Okay, so these are not very accurate because I definitely know what the Victoria Falls looks like. So these are being generated by AI, but the amazing thing is this is not searching an image library. It's actually recreating the image based on what it knows about Victoria Falls. So I think this is really cool and I really like uh, this idea. And this is what makes your images royalty free because the images are being created by AI. This is going to save us a lot of money and a lot of time as we create our images. Now, let me show you something that's also very, very cool. So I'm just going to close out of here. So when it comes to prompts, sometimes this can be very, very challenging. Now, Elementor has made a specific page here that can help us with creating all the prompts that we need. So take a look here. We have this interior design here. I can copy this prompt. And then over here now on my site, when I click on the AI item, I can paste my prompt in here like that and then click on generate images. In fact, you know what? I want this as, okay, let's go with uh, this aspect ratio and see what comes up. So while this is generating images, over here, as you scroll through, you can see different uh, types of uh, prompts that you can use. Here's a breakfast bowl. This is pretty cool, actually. Judge's uh, gavel, startup rocket. Yeah, these are really nice images that we can use. In fact, I may want to play around with this and see what this comes up with as well. All right, so back over here, look at that. Now, this is super amazing. Now, if you have a company that does architecture or you do interior design, these are the type of images that you want to add. So let's say I use this one here. This is going to be added to my media library. But again, remember that tip that I mentioned that when when it uh, adds the image, the quality is going to be very low. So if you want to go in and tweak it again, you can just click here on this pencil icon and then again go to the AI. So this is where you can come to resize, increase the quality. So let's just go all the way this time. Click on generate. And now we have a high res image. So I can just go ahead and say use image. And now you can see the quality is better. So the question now is, how do we apply this in a proper design that is going to work in our web design process? So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to delete this and let's add a new layout here. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to go in and add our background image. So first of all, before I do that, I'm going to come to minimum height, set this to VH and I'm going to set this to 100. Okay. Next, I'm going to go to style and I'm going to come over here to background. And then this time, I don't need to use the AI because I've already saved the image in my image library. And here it is. So this is the high quality one. I'm going to select that like that. So there's a few things that we need to do here. So first of all, the position, we're just going to center, center. And then on the repeat here, we don't want to repeat. So I'm going to say no repeat. And for the display size, I'm going to say cover. So now you can see our image is covering pretty much the whole space. So now we can go in and add an overlay. So I'm going to come over here to background overlay. 
And let's add our background color. So for my color here, I'm going to go with black. And then I'm just going to add a bit of darkness here so that I can add my text later on. So now that I have this, I can come back to my layout and perhaps maybe reduce this because it's a bit too much. Okay, so let's go with 80 so we can see what we're designing here. So the next step now is to start adding all my elements. So I'm going to click here on this plus button. And uh, let's say I want to add my text or even a call to action. So I should drag my text like that. But now you notice that my text is all the way at the top. So what I want to do is to center it and change its color as well. So I'm going to go and click here on this pencil icon. I'm going to center it. I'm also going to add some paragraph text, drag and drop it just below. There we go. And again, I'm, I need to center it. So I'm going to come over here to style and center it. Of course, it's not easy to read. I'm going to change this in a moment. Now, let me just go to my container here and just center everything like that. And finally, I'm going to need my call to action button here just to complete my design. So I'm going to come over here to button, drag and drop it, center it. So for this text, I'm also going to use AI. So I'm going to come over here, click on the AI. So I'm going to choose the suggested prompts, select that for, um, so next I'm going to say generate uh, text. Curious to see, I've just given this some vague uh, information, so I'm curious to see what it's going to come up with. As I'm looking at this, this is way too much. I'm going to make it shorter. Okay, that's much better, but still, it's a bit too much. So you can always read this and see what you can uh, remove or keep into this design. So I'm going to say use text and then I'm going to now change the color. I'm going to come over here to style, text, change the color so I can read it much easier. And I may also want to increase the size. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to set my size here to 2EM. In fact, let's go with 1.4. That's a bit too much. Now on the title here, um, again, I'm going to say write with AI. So I want to uh, suggest a heading. So I'm going to click on generate. I love that. So I'm going to go ahead and click on use text. And all I need to do now is to update the color. This was designed using AI. So the image here is AI, the text is AI. This is a new way of designing websites. And this is the future, really. It's going to help us and aid us in creating amazing looking websites. So here's the thing. Now, I'm so excited by Image AI that I went ahead and subscribed to my credits. So I'm going to include the link in the video description below so that you can go ahead and get your credits. So how this works is you get 18,000 credits per year and this now further describes it. So one credit is equal to one text prompt and for images is 33 uh, credits. So this is really, really amazing. It's going to save me money on royalty free images and it's also going to save me time because I'm able now to go in and generate all my um, text much, much easier with AI. So go ahead, try it out. The link to that is in the video description below. I'm going to be creating a lot of tutorials on how to use AI in your web design process. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.